Hey folks, Video Guys, Newsday Tuesday. You give us about 25, 30 minutes, we're gonna teach you about new products, new technologies, and all kinds of things in our industry. Today's show features the new Telestream Wirecast Gear family. These are brand new versions of the Wirecast Gear. These are dedicated computers for running Wirecast, and we're not just gonna show you the product. No, we're going much further than that. We're bringing in a product expert from Telestream. The product expert we have for you guys is Jeremy Klusterman, who's a Wirecast specialist. And we're happy to have you here. Jeremy, say hi to the fans at Video Guys. Hello, how's it going, everybody? It's going great. And believe me, folks, if you've got any comments and you're watching us on Facebook, send them in. We'll work them into the show. We love to do that. I want to start and jump right in. The Wirecast Gear is a brand new lineup of streaming appliance optimized for running Wirecast. The Wirecast Gear 310 starts at $59.95. It has four HDMI inputs. Uh, 250 gigabyte NVMe SSD OS and one giga, one terabyte of SATA SSD for media. The Gear 320 replaces those with four SDI capture ins, inputs. It's got the same storage, same everything else. And then the Gear 420, which I really love this product at 8995. This gives you five SDI inputs. It gives you dedicated NVIDIA Quadro graphics. We're going to get you to, into a little bit more on the show. It supports up to four simultaneous encodes. And because it's got that GPU in there, it's really going to give you unleashing a lot more power and performance. So we're super excited about that product. So let's start with the 420. I want to bring Jeremy in at the same time and talk a little bit about the 420 and what is the, the value of that GPU card and what is the value of NVENC X264 encoding with the GPU card, Jeremy? Sure, so uh, we added the hardware encoding um, just to be able to offload the, the CPU um, a, quite a bit. So you, you're able to do four encodes of H.264 uh, compression and deliver that in really, you're not gonna touch your CPU at all um, just doing those encodes. So the, the hardware takes, takes a huge load off from the CPU. Um, and you know that's that was one thing that that we heard customers saying all the time is we need we need this to perform a lot a lot better than what we've been seeing in the past. So um, just seeing that that offload the CPU so the CPU can be doing other things. Um, it's it's been a huge improvement. Yeah, with with other products and other solutions like uh, TriCaster Mini or a VMix white box that someone put together. Oftentimes we're selling people an encoder like a Matrox Monarch sure. because the encoding is just, it's really hard. It puts a lot of work on it. And if you don't have yep. a GPU optimized encoder, you're going to bring down your system and your CPU. I love that you have the GPU encoding on this product. And I want to talk about why four simultaneous encodes are important. Now we know you can go up to things like Restream IO and other things that can come and take the signal out and send it to multiple CDNs like YouTube, Facebook, Twitch at the same time. But what we're seeing now is you really need to think about encoding your stream in multiple formats from the beginning so that you have one particular stream that's for people watching mobile, maybe another one's more square for people who are on, you know, Facebook on uh, mobile, and then you've got your full size, maybe you're doing some encoding for future reference, you know, to save at the highest possible ISO quality. So we think the need for multiple encoders is something that's not only important, but it's only going to become more and more important in the future. What do you think about that thought, Jeremy? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I work with a lot of customers who are streaming to multiple destinations, you know, as as especially like LinkedIn Live has, has gained in popularity. People want to keep uh, presenting to their their fan base in YouTube or Facebook, but also go, you know, just add add another destination point like LinkedIn Live. Um, so we see that more and more. And like you said, Gary, the ability to uh, record locally and have that archive, high quality archive for post editing, anything like that. You know, you have a terabyte of storage um, that you can ISO record your camera feeds and do post editing after the fact. And now one of the things I think is important that we need to talk about is, is this product, the original Wirecast gear, and I'm not going to try to put the product down, but it was really built to kind of hit a $5,000 price point, and it was yep. using off-the-shelf parts. And the other thing that I know the guys who designed it was they wanted it to be portable, something that you could put in a backpack or a light piece of luggage. Now this puppy, if we cut to the camera on this in one of the things, it, it, it's solid. It is a heavy product. It has... 
ears for rack mounting. It's also got feet to go on, uh, go on your table. You can remove whichever you're not using. It's cool, it's fine. But what I want to really stress on this is this thing's built like a tank. It's a real rugged product. And you know, the, the 4SDI, the 4HDI inputs is great, but I really love how optimized and how heavy duty this puppy is. So I, I want to talk a little bit about the optimized production software that comes with it, because you get Wirecast Pro, you get the mm -hmm. stock media, you get the new blue titler, you get the switch player. So there's a lot of software in the box, but what really makes this thing special is this new hardware. It's more than just a computer. It, we say it's optimized for streaming, but I think it's optimized for more than that. It's optimized for today's workflow. So if we can come back to this, Jeremy, please don't get mad at this. And I'm, I'm going to surprise you on this a little bit, but uh, we decided we're going to open this puppy up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's right. And I really do this because we've got a camera on top, too, that we're going to cut to. And I want people to see just how rugged this design really, really is and what you've got here. First of all, you've got three fans blowing from front to back. And what I love about this design is these fans are big fans. They're not little fans going at a million RPM and whirring. They're nice big fans blowing slowly across the product. We've got a Xeon processor under this in here. We've got, with this one's the fourth way, we've got discrete NVIDIA graphics. We've got memory. We've got NVMe solid state SSDs in here. This is what I'm going to call server workstation level hardware. And Jeremy, I'd like your comments and thoughts on that. Yeah, like like you said, that that ability um, t for the server grade processor always on systems. You know, we we see a lot of customers who are doing twenty four seven streams with this stuff, and so being able to run that processor twenty four seven, always on, uh, lower power consumption. Um, but again, we have the performance that that almost you know it's right right there with a i nine processor, um, but like. I don't know if you looked at the specs, but a lot lower power consumption. So that's huge. Um, we got and, a ton of RAM like, in here. Yeah, a ton of RAM. And then the, the solid state, you know, using the latest technology for, for the uh, operating system drive, um, fast response, you know, quick response time. So that's, that's kind of what we're looking for. So Jeremy, one of the things I want to talk about is that I love the original Wirecast gear, and I don't want to sound like I'm putting that product down in any way, but it could do everything Wirecast could do at the time, but mm. Wirecast has come a long way since the right. gear was initially done. And you have listened. You get that from customer feedback. You as a customer yourself being inside know, Telestream Wirecast is extremely, extremely responsive to customers' needs. And what we've found is that when people really get this thing going, they want to stack stuff up. They want to do this and this and this and this and this. And yep. inevitably, with all these low cost systems, and I'm not trying to put any system down, I'm saying when you try to build a $5,000 computer, a $5,000 dedicated appliance, whatever it is, you tend to reach a point where because you have to compromise on memory, CPU, GPU, storage, something gives. And what gives usually is, is you end up with, you lose stability or reliability as you stack up all these great features. This is an overkill design that not only lets you stack up features in the current Wirecast for till the cows come home, but they've been thinking about where this product's gonna go in the future. So they're yep. actually already building in capacity for features that aren't even in beta test yet. And I really, I can't stress that enough. If you're gonna be doing this stuff professionally, we get it that you want the lowest cost box you can get your hands on. But when I look at this 420 with the GPU encoding, that's worth $1,000 because I sell a $1,000 encoder to people. With the additional SDI inputs, with the power and performance that it gives you, I just really think while the, 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 the $6,000 box with HDMI is a good value, I really think this 420 is going to be the go-to product that people really jump to because I just think it adds a level of features and performance while staying under that critical $10,000 mark that's really yeah. exciting. What do you think about that, Jeremy? Yeah, and like you know, I was I was kind of shocked with uh, when when I first saw the price point. I'm like, oh, really? We did that, huh? And um, but our customers have just loved it. They see the value in the in the hardware acceleration, like you said, and um, and so it's it meets the needs. Uh, it, you know, like like we we mentioned, we listened to our customers, we heard what they wanted, and and I I really feel like this this meets that. Uh, expectation for what our customers were looking for, and 
and let's review what we have on here. We got more yep. CPU care, cores, Xeon processor, higher clock speeds, lower energy consumption, faster RAM, NVMe storage, and dedicate discrete graphics on the 420. You just, you can't touch that. You just can't. And I really right. want to talk about a server workstation grade performance because I think it's about time we brought that to streaming because, you know, back in the day, let's go back 15, 20 years ago, we specialized in these DIY machines where we'd say build your own white box and you could edit video on it. You can install a card like a DB500 or a Pinnacle or Canopus card or you could go software only, you know. And these systems were great. People loved it and we tried to build the best machine we could for $2,000 or $1,500. But the thing about doing a video editing workstation was, yes, yeah, sometimes it would become unstable and crash and you might lose a little bit about work and you might push a deadline a little bit and get in trouble with your boss, but there's do-overs in post. You could fix it in post. When I'm going live, if I'm shooting a graduation, a wedding, a church ceremony, a sporting event, I can't say, wait a second, guys, stop. Time out. We screwed up the stream. Do the whole thing over again. And I think that's a real important decision people need to be making when they're looking at a box like this. If your goal is to do this on a regular basis, to be streaming as a way to build your brand, build awareness of your sports team, to give your kids an opportunity to be seen, to, 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 to spread the word and the mission of your church where it's going to be several times a week, day in and day out. You want a reliable stream, and that's where this overkill of technology really becomes important. Yeah, it's a, it's a one-time one -time opportunity, and you don't want to mess that up. <laughs> exactly. So that's why I love that we've got NVMe SSD storage and SATA SSDs, everything solid state in here. A, it's not moving spinning parts, which means you've got the highest possible throughput. You can record all four ISO streams. You don't have to worry that you're going to uh, hit a bottleneck or throttle, have to need to throttle the system back. And then the other thing that, Jeremy, I wanted you to talk about this because I think you played a big part in making this a better audio device. So talk about how the audio is better now in the gear than was in previous models or in many times lesser systems that people build on their own. Talk about audio for a minute. Yeah, for sure. So we saw a lot of customers looking for, uh, you know, they come to us and say, okay, we get we can get our cameras in, great. How do we get our good quality audio in? And we're like, well, you get a headphone jack, uh, you get that that uh, <laughs> 3.5 millimeter input, and we're like, no, that's, that's not going to work uh, for a lot of customers. So, so we found ourselves having to push a lot of... Um, of audio capture cards and so we said no we need something better than that and we built in uh, the XLR TRS capture card audio capture so you can take um, you know stereo pair in uh, left and right channel TRS or XLR um, but you still have the USB op options so um, you know you connect a, a professional um, you know, sound sound card, sound capture card too. So we have we have the capability of doing both now. Very very cool. And then, you know, we talk about more inputs, more outputs. Let's bring this up full screen if we can. You're talking about up to five simultaneously cameras via SDI or four HDMI, four display outputs with a multi viewer when you need it, two gigabyte Ethernet points, so you can have you can double up your bandwidth for IP or NDI. And this product does fully support NDI HX and we brought this screen up here again because I really want to show that we've got the balanced audio in here. We've got the extra guts that are needed to do this at that next level. So very excited about that. The next thing I want to talk about a little bit is, is let, let, let's just go through the basic models and what we've got. Use what you've got, basic HDMI and mobile, the, the, the 310 model. Ta talk about that a little bit, Jeremy. Sure. Yeah. So you know, a lot of schools have uh, you know, video video cameras and video equipment already in place, and they might have a couple different cameras lying lying around. Um, so we wanted the ability to use whatever. So um, whether it be a professional uh, webcam using USB or HDMI camera, um, you know, you can always take an HDMI feed right in the back of it. And, and again, a lot of analog soundboards out there yet. So you just take an XLR out of out of an analog soundboard into the back of this. So yeah, I think it's important if you're going to work with existing HDMI gear, you can. the The, the 310 is the model for you. Then mm -hmm. SDI is more professional. Yes, we recommend it over HDMI. But I also want to stress that you can also bring in camera inputs 
via NDIHX. You can put a Connect Spark yeah. on any HDMI or SDI camera and bring it in. So this thing's really got a whole lot of power. It's, it's more than just four inputs. Yep. You know, one of the things that we've done in the past, and we'll probably do it again, is uh, put some bundles together with PTZ Optics cameras. And here we're showing you an option where you could be running, you know, up to four PTZ cameras at the same time from Wirecast. And one of the things we got really excited about in the last update last year was Wirecast now includes embedded PTZ camera control. So you guys just keep getting better and better. Good job. Yeah, we're, we're pretty excited about that. You know, you build your presets right into Wirecast, uh, assign those to different shots. Every time you pick a shot, it'll automatically move your camera and get all set up. And uh, you kind of highlight, I think, in that in that screen, the dual network cards, which yep. is awesome for, for creating that PTZ optic um, uh, layout. So you can dedicate one of those NICs specifically to your camera camera network. And then those aren't touching the, the out, outward, outbound World Wide Web. Cool. And we've got some bundles on our website. And we'll have more that include Wirecast gear flavors with PTZ Optics cameras. You guys have been, it's been a great partnership from a bundling partnership. They're good guys, you're good guys, and your stuff just works great together. Yeah. Also, sometimes you've got that one-man band thing where you're, you know, a single guy, SDI, got to run the whole room, and Wirecast is there with SDI inputs if you need it as well with the gear. Just get yourself the 320 or the 420. Yeah, exactly. And just getting those more professional cameras. And what I like to tell people, especially in a in a remote environment with, that you can't control, somebody trips over a HDMI cable, it's going to pull out and, uh, and you're going to lose that connection. So having that SDI, the BNC locking connection is, is really vital for professional workflow. Cool. And then I guess we want to talk about the hybrid where you can have some HDI and some HDMI stuff going yep. with your network. And that's by basically using one of the USB inputs uh, yep. to be an HDMI input. Magewell has cards. Epifan has their IO cards as well. And we just, we're just we trying to show you this slide. If we could bring this slide full screen because I think this is the one that really shows there are no limitations with the gear. You can bring in HDMI, you can bring in SDI, you can bring in a soundboard, you can bring in SDI cameras, HDMI cameras, PTZ cameras, we can go Wi-Fi for rendezvous guests, and we can also bring in NDI scan converter the same way we bring in our laptop presentation into our TriCaster. Well, guess what? Wirecast can do it because it's NDI also. Very exactly. important feature there. So. And then, you know, we can even go more professional with pure SDI and an NDI audio and, 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 and an audio mixer. I mean, you're never limited with a product like this. And I think, yeah, you're limited to four inputs. So if you think you're going to use six or eight or ten cameras, you know, look at something bigger. There's bigger things out there. But for under $10,000, four inputs, just a tremendous job. You guys have really upped your game. And I'm really impressed with just how solid this product is. I can't get over it. You've just done a great job. When, and remember, the 420 now has the five inputs, so we did step it up a little bit. That's we stepped right. up our game. So Five inputs with four HDMI outputs. It's a tremendous solution, yeah. I think. And, and then one of the things that we've done well with, and you guys have, is we've got our X-Keys XK128 controller dedicated for Wirecast, and that's available for $659.95, but also it's featured in our bundles that include Wirecast and the gear, and I should have put one on the table. I'm sorry, folks, I forgot about that. You've seen it in previous shows, and we'll have a link directly to that product as well. Now, I want to review the pricing on these products, but before I do that, I thought we should just spend a couple of moments to talk about some of the verticals that this Wirecast gear could be used in. Now, one of the things I want to stress is it's heavy. It's not as light and portable as the old version was. So if you're going to bring this around, you're going to need to put it in some kind of Pelican flight case or something. I'm not going to ever say put it in a backpack, but it can be moved on location very easily. But let's talk about some of the markets. So I'm going to lead with the market that I think this is a great home run for, which is worship. I see this in the worship sphere playing very, very well with a church where you have multiple cameras. One of the things that I love about Wirecast versus some of the other mixing products that are out there is, is the other mixing products are all great, but they're kind of based on a professional mixer digitized. So you have to have some kind of video production knowledge, whereas Wirecast is more from, if you know how to do drag and drop and work a basic iPad or a laptop computer or any kind of program or application, 
Wirecast is really a lot more intuitive than some other, other products. Not to put them down, but to consider the amount of power and features that's in Wirecast with how intuitive it is, I really think that's a strong, strong suit with Wirecast. And the reason I bring it up while I'm talking about worship is oftentimes in worship, we have a volunteer who's working the controls. That volunteer may only be every other week, or he may be this week and not next week, or he may be leaving on sabbatical for two months, or you know, taking a vacation. And so at worship, one of the things that we think is critical when you're making your decision about what kind of streaming products to put in your worship environment is you want something that you can train a volunteer to use very easily. And what I love about Wirecast is if my pro guy sets up even a complicated show, I could teach you how to run that show in a matter of minutes. Yeah. When, and, you know, we we really made Wirecast. I don't know if you've seen the, the Wirecast 13 that we just announced this week. Um, but the color coding of of the layout of the, the Wirecast UI goes directly with that X keys controller now. So everything can be color coordinated down uh, even more than what it was before. And so that gives a volunteer, you know, very clear you know, this is this is the layer that we're we're working on. This is this is what buttons you're pushing for for the different shots. I'm on yellow, I'm on red, I'm on blue. That's great that you guys work with the exactly. XP guys like that. That's you know, I didn't even pick that up when I saw the paint. I apologize. I yeah, guess no, I, no I, problem. I was sleeping at the wheel on that one. No problem. But you guys, but yeah, are, go. Yep. Yeah. So we we really rolled that out in Wirecast 13. Is is more more connectivity with that X keys controller and and making it easy to use, easy to function. And then the other place where I see Wirecast being used all the time is education, especially on the high school level and the, the smaller colleges and universities where you just want to do a video production because maybe you're doing a video production class, maybe you're building out a studio, maybe you want to put it in your theater also where it can move around and stuff. And that's another place where Wirecast does very well. And what I really love about Wirecast is there's got to be a bazillion different tutorials online for it. So yeah. that makes it, if I'm a teacher trying to teach it to a class, I have a well wealth of information that I can find online, directly on the Wirecast page, on YouTube in general. It's just, I think it's because it's so easy to use, it's easier for people to post tutorials, so there's a lot of them, which just makes it easier for everyone to use. Exactly. Yeah, and, and, uh, and what I lo love about it is, you know, a lot of kids aren't learning the uh, the production room environment, but especially when you, you partner uh, Wirecast with the X keys, it's like you're sitting down at a production switcher then. It makes the ease of use of, of clicking and, and going live, um, but then you you add that layer of, of functionality and it really transitions people well into the production environment. And of course, it's really good for sports, you know, college, high school, low end sports, you know, this is limited instant replay. This isn't something that's supposed to be, you know, turn you into ESPN. But if you're trying right. to get a multi-camera shoot, maybe from your basketball court, maybe from your baseball, football, you've got a wire, you've got a dugout, you've got an area where you can wire it up and have the power and then feed it out to the world. It's a great way to go and it's really fun and easy to use. And, you know, one of the things we talked about a little bit, you guys have all that template content. content. There's a ton of templates for sports, for worship, for everything you're looking for. So. Once again, the folks at Wirecast are thinking, how do I make this easy for you to do a real professional looking pr production as soon as possible? And I think the Wirecast gear knocks it out of the park. For sure. Yeah, and, and adding stinger transitions, things like that, it, it kind of gets you to that level of, of the, the big networks and, and the look and feel. So guys, if we could bring the, the comparison of the, of the three models up full screen again, I just want to let folks uh, sit and digest on that a little bit. We've got the 310, which is HDMI only starting at $59.95. We've got the 320, which is SDI only at $69.95. We got the 420, which is SDI, but it goes to five SDIs. Plus it gives you quadro graphics and HDMI outputs for $89.95, all under 10K, all tremendous values. Give us a call, give your local Wirecast dealer a call. They can help you figure out what's the best unit for whatever your uh, design workflow is. It's got a lot of flexibility there. And then I wanted to bring up something else, and Jeremy, why don't you tell the folks about this, because you guys at Wirecast came up with this. I think it's a tremendous program, and that's your limited time offer for Wirecast, existing Wirecast gear owners. Yeah, this was huge. We didn't want to kind of isolate from our existing user base, and we wanted to really uh, give, the, give an incentive for them to move up and get the new hardware and, and make it feasible for them. So we're offering, if you have an existing Wirecast gear unit, 110, 220, or 210, 220, 230 model, um, 
give us a call. We'll work with you. We'll get you in contact with with the right people to to make that upgrade happen. But we'll give you twenty percent off, and um, you just have to show that you're still using that that Wirecast system and and you have the license for it. And now people don't have to return the system to you, correct? They nope. just give you the serial number. You verify that it's their system, correct? A and then they get a special coupon that they can use when they purchase from any Wirecast dealer, be it video guy, someone yep. on Amazon, it doesn't matter. You can purchase it and get that coupon, which is really great. And I love that you're doing that through 1115. Give some folks decided. I, I, when, I, when I first saw this puppy, and you know, if we can cut back to it on, on this camera maybe, folks, you know, this is a different type product. It's really more the appliance. You see that it's a little bit bigger, uh, a little bit stronger, uh, heavier duty. I'm, I'm, I'm talking and killing some time while the guys pull up the camera to the side of it. It's going to give me the diagonal shot of the wire cast. If we, there we go. Here we go. So we've got the top shot. Can we get the shot that's from the, from the side? <laughs> Here we go. Okay. I'm going to twist it around like this because I really wanted to show that the IO, you know, the professional IO that's on the back of this puppy, you know, this is a tremendous product. You know, I, we showed you the guts. I don't want to dwell on that for too long, but I do want to show you the fan placement because I think that's real important. These fans and the cooling, it's going to be much more efficient and it's going to be quieter. And whisper quiet is important. And if you're a person who had an existing wirecast gear, well, this thing probably answers some of the things you wished were a little bit better. So they're giving you a chance to get it, get 20% off. I think, I think it's just a tremendous offer and kudos to the folks at Wirecast for the forethought and for doing that. And kudos to you, Jeremy. Thank you for coming on the show. It's much appreciated. I like to yeah. give my guests some final words or any final words you want to tell people about this tremendous product, the Wirecast gear, uh, the new series, the, the 310, 320 and 420 series. Yeah, no, like I said, uh, having been a user and live streamer, you know, I'm, I, I love seeing Telestream really put their heart and soul in, in products, listening to what our customers need. And so I was so excited when, uh, when I heard what all we're featuring in this, in this unit. And, um, and like I said, our, our customers are loving it. Uh, I'm, I'm constantly on the phone uh, answering questions, working with customers and, and giving them what they need, the right information, connecting with the right resellers. So give me a call. Shoot me an email. We'll, we'll connect you with the right people. Awesome. Jeremy, thank you so much. This is a tremendous product, folks. It's really an evolution. It's not a, a revolution. It's an evolution of a product. And what I got to stress is this is a forward-thinking product. Not only will it handle everything, the current version, Wirecast 12, 13, whichever you have, has to throw at it. These guys are thinking about what's going to be in 14 and 15, and they designed this hardware to be able to handle what's coming down the road, and you can really push it to the limit. You don't have to worry. If, you, if you're doing a ton of encoding, get that 420 product with the GPU, do the encoding, and now your CPU is free to do all the great events, the green screen, the other stuff. Jeremy, I want to apologize because we didn't run today's show on a Wirecast gear because we didn't get it in time. But what I will tell you is in the future, maybe when you guys do your first firmware upgrade or maybe when there's a Wirecast 13.5 or 14 coming out, we will have this running in our studio and we will do the show on the Wirecast gear for the next time you're on the show. And we'll, we'll bring you in via rendezvous rather than the, the new tech talk show technology. So thank you very much for coming on the show. Much yeah. appreciated. You did a great job and uh, brings us to what's coming up. And I want to, I'll see you t uh, next week because next week we're going to be at the NAB show. Uh, October 15th uh, is the NAB show New York. So what we're going to do is we're going to do our show talking about what we expect to see at the show. We'll walk you through the show. We'll walk you through a distributor's booth. that's going to have a lot of cool stuff in there. And then October 22nd, great, happy announcement. We're now going to be reselling Panasonic NDI HX PTZ cameras and controllers. Very excited about adding that to the product line, of course, because they're NDIHX. What does that mean, Jeremy? They can go right into the Wirecast right via NDI, Wirecast. baby. So we love it. It's a great job. I want to thank you for coming on the show today. I want to go back to the original Pleasure. screen so we can have that up there. Yes, Video Guys News Day Tuesday. You give us 25, 30 minutes. We're going to teach you about the products we sell. I hope you guys learned a lot today about the magnificent, fantastic, awesome, did I say fantastic? Did I say great? New family of Wirecast gears. Great job, Telestream. Gary from Video Guys. Peace. Video Guys is available Monday through Friday. 
give us a call at 1-800-323-2325. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram to stay connected with all of our updates. And you can like us on Facebook. Keep an eye out for our live videos, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.